Hi guys and welcome back to Crafty Quilt and Designs. I hope you're well and having a fantastic day. So it's Valentine's Day today. It's probably about 12 o'clock here in London and um, I decided I am going to make a very quick Valentine's quilt. Well, okay, it's going to be a very simplistic one, obviously, in order, in order for me to do this very quickly and within the day and post a video, it has to be something very simplistic. So I decided to cut up some scrap fabric. So I had a yard each of each of the color variations that I'm going to show you. And um, I decided also to cut them into strips of 2.5 in width and um, 10 inches in length. So we're looking at more or less bars. So let me show you what I'm talking about. And then I stitched them together and added some white fabric. It turns out really lovely. I'm not finished yet. I'm aiming to do this within the day, as I said. So I'm aiming roughly about an hour to do the quilt top. It's not going to be very large, obviously. And then add some borders and uh, uh, quilt it within the entire day. So that is my aim. I would let you know, obviously, if I post this, then I've achieved my goal, <laughs> okay? But as I said, it's Valentine's Day here. It's roughly around 12 o'clock now and I wanted to do something really quickly to celebrate today and um, give it a sort of a really nice feel. So as I said, it's a scrappy one. It's just extra fabric that I actually had that I throw together to do this. So let me show you um, where I am at the moment and then uh, um, hopefully I will do it. <laughs> okay, so let me show you what I've done so far. Okay, so I have now cut the fabric okay so this is what I actually had I had some purple and I had some red and as I said I've cut them into 2.5 and 10 inch so I've made bars out of them and I've laid them in alternate colors so for example I've started with the purple red purple and then red purple red and I've taken that all the way down and I have done one two three four rows together by one two three four so 20 blocks in total okay you will need um, 24 of each of the purple and 24 of the red and you also need some white fabric which is five by six and a half and you'll need 16 of these okay so you're going to sew them together I wouldn't show you sewing them together because again it's quite simplistic so it's front sides together and both sides all right, and then you're going to add on the white to the end. So this is what I've done so far. So I'll show you this one here. Okay, so that is it. So you have your three bars together plus your white at the end. Okay, and I'm going to continue doing that for all of them. So the idea is that it looks like that. So these are not joining at the moment. They're just laid out there. All right, so that is what I've done so far. So 20 blocks in total. Um, once you've made so I'm referring to this as a block All right, and, and yeah, so very simplistic very beginner friendly and I love the colors purple red and white for for my Valentine's Theme, okay, so I'm going to finish all these together and then I'm going to come back and show you the completed layout and the quilt top and Aim to complete this quilt within the day now. I'm not going to do anything fantastic Well, it's going to be fantastic of course but it's going to be simplistic quilting on the quilt, all right, in order to me achieve this for today. So wish me luck, guys. So I'm going to continue and I'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes uh, with this. Now, it takes roughly, as I said, 10, 15 minutes to get to this stage. So I reckon by within an hour, you should be able to complete the quilt up. All right, so see you in a moment.
see how the hypothermic protocol would help. Hey, you're the fellow. I'm just a resident. Heard you're local. Me too. Where'd you grow up? Okay guys, so when you sew your strips together, just make sure you finger, you finger press. You can either do two things. You can either decide to finger press towards the other fabric or you can do it outwards. So you can do it in towards the center or outwards. It's entirely down to you. It doesn't really matter. There is no um, seams for this one in terms of joining the other seam or the other block to the other. It's quite quick, simplistic sewing. So I'm going to continue doing this and then I will come back and show you what I have achieved so far. As you can see, it is very simplistic to sew together. I'm actually watching a movie while I do this. I'm sure you can hear it in the background. Um, so yeah. So that's it really so once again so that's my one with the purple and the red at the end and this is the middle with the red in the middle and the purple at the end all right so continue with all of your 20 blocks and then you will move on to the next stages all right guys so i have now stitched all of the 20 blocks together and um, i'm now going to add the rows so let me show you what i've done so far so that you know what to do when you're doing yours so let's have a look okay so that's what it looks like so the rows are not stitched together okay i've added an inner border of um, four inches to the length of the actual um, rows themselves now if you want you can make yours bigger and keep going obviously so far it's only four rows i may add another board uh, another row to be honest and then i will complete it with a border but so far it looks fine i'm happy with it as i said it's a quick project a lovely simple uh, valentine's sort of cuddle throw quilt uh, you know um so that's the idea of it um so I'm going to continue and stitch all the inner borders together and then I'll see what it looks like and then I'll make rather uh, I'll make an I'll, I'll make an informed decision as to whether or not I want to continue and add another one. Okay, when I say another one I'm talking about another four rows here or four block rows, all right, with my um inner sashing here so as you can see it's alternated so at the top there you have your first white at the end of the block you know your row and um your other row there with your blocks um your, your inner border etc okay so this will look really beautiful as a big quilt you can add another 20 on so making it 40 so really extend it um, but for now, it's just going to be a very quick one day project. Okay, so the objective is to make the quilt in the day. Um, so I'm going to now stitch all the inner borders together and then I'll take it from there. Good. Okay guys, so I'm going to do some quilting now. I've already started, but I, sh I thought I'll share a little bit of what I'm doing. So I'm doing some meandering. And I'm just doing some little roses or as I go. So I meander and when I feel like I need to come out and make some space for the swirls, I do that. So for example, I make a big C. I'll tuck in there and just go all the way around like another flower and if I wanted to go back that way I would just echo it and where I have a little space up there I will just do some meander to get out of it so I pick myself up to that area and when I'm doing the meanders I'm just going up and down and I'm thinking of it like a snake that just swirls. So 
So like here, I'm gonna just do a little flower again. Come out. So any little space I can fill in with the meanders. Again, I've got a nice space here, so I'll come out again and go all the way around. And I'll do the same because I want to come back, I will echo. And again, just do meanders. And that's simply it. But when I do the meander, I am not going in a line, I'm just going all over. As I said, I'm thinking of it as a snake and to keep it nice and smooth, I'm keeping it kind of taut when I have my hands like that. So it's nice and smooth. All right, so come out again. And that is simply it. Now you can go around as much as you want to make this flower nice and big but I do it twice, sometimes once, depending on where the flower is or how much space I want to fill. And that's simply it. So I'm going to continue and then I'll show you the outcome. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like. The quilt measures 47 by 68 and it's come up really, really nicely. So I did a very easy meandering, as I said. I'm just gonna go in a little bit closer so you can actually see it. And yeah, it didn't take long. So it was a quilt in a day an hour to make the quilt up and then to quilt it. I use a pink glossy thread which has come out really nicely. Just absolutely brilliant. So a beautiful simplistic Valentine's Day quilt. Yep. Not bad, not bad guys. So again, all made from scrap fabrics um, that I had. So this is something you can throw together quite easily. Not bad at all guys. The quilting didn't take very long. I meant it's, it's, it's a 
an easy coating pattern so in this case it works quite easily and it's come together really quickly so guys if you do enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe hit that notification bell and of course give me a thumbs up let me know your thoughts do you think this is something you can make it's a very easy beginner friendly quilt top using square fabrics or scrap fabrics that you have so and it works really nicely i just love the quilting it's come up really nicely and the colors i think works and i've used the same color everywhere I didn't change it at all so once again guys thanks for checking out today's tutorial and i'll see you soon again on craft building designs bye for now and happy quilting